request everyone to settle down fast. Space is for everyone. It's not just for a few people in science or math or for a select group of astronauts. That's our new frontiers out there. And it's everybody's business to know about space. A memorable morning to one and all present over here. I, Pooja Sharma, on behalf of Anantata, the Mathematics Society of Kalindi College, take this opportunity to accord a warm and cordial welcome to our honorable guest, Professor Hariyom Bhatt, Expected teachers and my dear colleagues, today we will have a session on glimpses of space research. We all are indeed delighted and honored by your presence on this significant day. Light is a symbol of brightness and prosperity. As sunlight expels the darkness of mind, similarly blessings brings in our life prosperity and happiness. To make this day a blessed one and invoke Goddess Saraswati by kindling the lamp of knowledge and wisdom. For seeking the choice blessing for the same, I invite our admirable guest Professor Hariyom Bhatt Sir, TIC of Mathematics Department, Ms. Neelam Bareja Ma'am, Society Convener Dr. Abhishek Kumar Sir and all other teachers to kindle the lamp. Sir. Maharani, Mere Sariko, 
अपना स्वर दो मेरे स्वर को अपना स्वर दो गाँव में तेरी वाणी मेरे कंठ बसो महारानी मेरे कंठ बसो महारानी नीरस शब्दों को रस दे दो मेरी कला को आशीष दे दो नीरस शब्दों को रस दे दो मेरी कला को आशीष दे दो तू सागर में बूंद हूँ माता तू सागर में बूंद हूँ माता तू चंदन में पानी मेरे कंठ बसो महारानी मेरे कंठ बसो महारानी मेरे स्वर को अपना स्वर दो मेरे स्वर को अपना स्वर दो गाँव में तेरी वाणी मेरे कंठ बसो महारानी मेरे कंठ बसो महारानी Mr. Avnish Kumar Sir to present our honorable guest with ang words of our gratitude sir Earth. 
so without taking much time i welcome you all once again and hope that you have a great time ahead thank you so much thank you today with us we have our honorable guest professor hari om bhot it's a great honor for me to introduce so He is a founder director of Space Education and Research Foundation in Dhaka. In 1970 he joined Physical Research Laboratory in Dhaka. After MSc Physics he earned his PhD Gujarat University for his research work at PRL or upper atmosphere. He has published 120 research paper in scientific journals and guided six scholars for PhD work. He has worked on research program in several centers like at UG USA Japan and Brazil. He has given 265 popular talks. He has translated eight spaces science comic book in Hindi. He was awarded INSA Indira Gandhi Prize for popularization of science in 2014. For this he has visited several countries of Asia and Pacific region. like nepal vietnam indonesia malaysia etc so welcome him by giving a huge round of applause so it is not that i want to give just the lecture i would like you to ask questions which could be related to the slides that i will show or the topics that i will talk about but you can also uh, ask questions outside the, of that <coughs> let's see <coughs> mention in the in my introduction <coughs> such career after doing msc from new york university i started working on atmosphere the atmosphere the region uh, which is something like 100 km above the earth and then slowly i shifted upward upward and then uh, at the end of my career i worked on uh, mostly on the solar uh, research and uh, that's what i will do the glimpses of that and it is not that it is all the work that i am going to present here was done by me it's a as you who the students have uh, worked with you each of them and uh, they have done a good good job and now uh, some part of that i will present to you <laughs> but before i do that i think this is for So, so this is the institute where I began my career. We are a physical research laboratory. <coughs> so, physical research laboratory. This is the institute which was started by Professor Vikram Sarabhai. who is the father of uh, space science in india and from this institute 
the entire space department, ISRO, uh, with, with all the satellite programs, the rocketry program were initiated uh, from this institute, Physical Research Laboratory. And this institute today has three more campuses. This was the first one, and which is also the main campus. Then we have, uh, there is a hill in Rajasthan, which is just outside Vira, uh, almost the border between Rajasthan and Vira, called Mount Abu. On that, there is a large telescope, 1.2 meter uh, telescope, uh, which takes observation of galaxies, stars, and a lot of research work is being done there. There is also, uh, very recently, another 2.5 meter type of bigger uh, telescope is being erected there, and that will also be used for uh, doing more research work from there. There is a totally dedicated center uh, at Udaipur, called Udaipur Solar Observation, which is meant only for solar research, research of the sun, sun sphere, the coronal mass ejection, the filaments, and many, many of the activities that happen on the sun are being uh, studied at this uh, center, so Udaipur Solar Observatory. And this observatory has three optical telescopes looking at the sun, and uh, these telescopes are located in a, in a lake, which is uh, this is called Patay Sagar Lake, fairly big lake in Udaipur. Udaipur is a city of lakes. There are several lakes and one of them is this one, Kataku uh, Lake. And in, inside the lake there is the island. On this island, there, these are the three uh, optical telescopes which the institute has erected and for the studying sun. And uh, then there is a center which is just outside Ahmedabad, but which is in fact now in Ahmedabad itself because Ahmedabad has uh, grown very big. Please have a seat. Right. And maybe you can get more chairs and see. So uh, this is called Thalpet. It was, used to be a village here, but now this has become part of Ahmedabad. Here they are, initially we had a radio telescope. I in fact worked on that. Uh, that telescope used to work at 103 megahertz. But at that time, in, in early uh, in 70s and 80s, we had no FM station. And 103 meters, a lot of good work was done using uh, that telescope, the radio telescope. Uh, but in 95 or 6, uh, we had lots of FM station all around the country. And because 103 meters out being in the FM band, so we had to close down that. <coughs> But there now we have uh, 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 facilities where the payloads for Moon, Mars, the, the satellite scientific payloads are being made there. So this is a, 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 a new, new division uh, called Earth and uh, Planetary Sciences Department has started there and uh, they, a lot of good work is being done there. Uh, for the study of moon, study of planets, and uh, because ISRO is now sending more and more uh, satellites in space uh, for the study of not only moon and Mars, but also they are planning to send a moon and Mars, and eventually there will be a uh, sat uh, satellite in which human uh, will go and conduct various experiments, not only uh, astronomy and uh, space science, but then we also experiments on, on biological or agricultural experiments also will be conducted there. So this center is now dedicated for that work. And uh, in this, in, in all these campus, the main subjects that are being uh, studied, there is a pointer also in this? Yeah, yeah. Which one? Yeah, yeah. Huh. So astronomy is one major uh, subject that the institute cover. Earth sciences and also the planetary sciences. Planetary I mean other than Earth. 
the Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and what is also being done there. There is a <coughs> division of space and geosciences. The space sciences basically uh, the work that is done from the atmosphere, the, the lower part of the atmosphere, the upper part of the atmosphere, greenhouse gases, and all the uh, various work is being done there. There is a good program at this institute, as well as many other institutes, some, some names I have written here, like Indian Institute of Astrophysics, GIFR, Sata Institute of Fundamental Research, NCRA, uh, which is at Pune, National Center for Radio Astrophysics, Indian Institute of Geomagnetism, and ISRO has several centers. Three centers are there at Ahmedabad, there are centers in there are three or four centers in Bangalore, uh, uh, two, three centers in Tamandam, very large one, and Chihari Many universities also have a uh, good space science program. And in all these, there is a summer training program. The summer training program is meant for students of MSc first year. MSc, physics, chemistry, mathematics, first year students. And these first year students are selected on the basis of their marks, performance in their academics, and all the recommendation of the department where, or the institute from where they got this education. And then they are given fair to go and come back to Andhava or for that matter the center that they choose to work with and uh, then for two months they are assigned a project they are, they are um, associated with a scientist and with the scientist they, they do some research work and uh, make presentation discuss with several other scientists listen to the because every um, uh, day there is one or two seminar by different division of the institute, so they attend that. So that way, um, yes, uh, summer training program uh, for which is for about two months, one get a very good exposure of how the research is being done, and that is why it is done more because this is meant for MSc first year. Some BSc final year students also are selected, some of them, those who have uh, a very good inclination uh, for research and uh, the, the department writes a, uh, a sort of recommendation that uh, this student has a very great inclination for doing higher studies and research work, so that or he or, he or she also can go there and do some technical and interact with the scientists and also the, the trainees from several other institutes and centers who come there. And uh, space research, though it began from this institute, physical research laboratory, but today we have the all in all these centers, a very large uh, work is being done. And uh, several universities also, like SRM University in Chennai, there is a university in Rajkot, Surastra University, Hill University also has a program on astrophysics and space science. And like that, many even private universities are also now starting on uh, not only doing space research, but also developing uh, uh, payloads for doing scientific work in uh, rockets and satellites. So that also uh, is being uh, many startup groups have started and I think soon uh, a, a satellite built purely by uh, private with the, with the support and help of ISRO centers. Uh, a satellite is being made and that will be uh, launched and uh, will be in space for doing this So a lot of space research is being done in, in India and also of course there are um, worldwide there are many centers, NASA and TISA and all these institutes have their websites like PRL has a website, all everyone, IAEA, for everyone. And there, the list of 
the, the research work that is being done or, or likely to be done in the uh, future, those, these things are all given there. You can study those and also interact with the faculty. Depending on your interest, you can write to them. If there is a uh, contact number or contact email, uh, you can get from this website and write to them, ask questions and you can also, uh, in fact that way you can develop a sort of a repo uh, and uh, I will be getting to that. Most of these institutes and nowadays have a exam uh, for entrance that is called JEST, Joint Entrance Test for Space and Estonius also still is there. So that exam is normally conducted in February, March and then the student of course, most of these, they take students after MSc. When to complete MSc, then you can do that. And uh, based on the uh, marks that you get in that JEST examination, uh, they prepare a merit list and they, this, then the student is called to the, the, the institute where he or she is uh, sort of selected with their criteria. <coughs> And then interview is conducted. And there, there, each of these institutes that I listed here, they also have their own written test, which they are praised. And on that, the students are called. They take written test, mostly objective type. And uh, <coughs> then the monthly exam is evaluated. And the, those who qualify from that, then they conduct interview. And, select students there are so for research. And once a student is selected for research work, there is a coursework, which is a common research uh, coursework for about six months. And for next six months, there will be one or two research projects that they have to carry out. And all these academic activities are evaluated. And after the evaluation of that, then they select the guide and the field in which they, uh, the, the student wants to uh, do his or her PhD. So <clears throat> that is the kind of research programs that we, uh, most of the institutes have in the science in India today. <coughs> now, let me uh, talk about something about the sun. <coughs> which many of you may know uh, <coughs> sun as we, we, we take birth we all and then we have a after birth a life of 50, 60, 100 years or even more and then finally we all die so similarly sun also and not only sun all the stars, all the objects that you see in this all the celestial objects, they also have a starting point, which we can say the birth sun. So, <coughs> our sun is believed to be born out of a nebular cloud. A nebula is a object in the sky which, which gets formed after the death of a very large star. The large star called supernova explosion ends into supernova explosion and then forms a, a nebula. It's basically a, a, a hot gas, very huge gas cloud which has dust which also has the elements because most of the elements that we have on the earth we don't create them here all the elements that we have on the earth they get created in the stars and uh, so the stars are but the elements are not, we only manipulate them to make like we make chairs, we make building, but we don't create elements here. All the elements they, they get formed in the 
the stars. <coughs> and so this is the <coughs> basically a cloud of dust, gas, and very hot gas. In this, what happens at some area or some region, the density is more than the rest. And where density is more, so that will that region will have more gravity. Like here, if we throw anything, it will fall to the ground. Even if we throw outward, it will go up slightly and then come back. It's all because of the gravity. So in this cloud, <coughs> the region which has dense, more density, more material that tries to pull the material from other part where the density is lower from surrounding and that process is called accretion that it accretes material from the surroundings so that accretion takes place and eventually goes out with millions of years after it takes a sort of spherical shape it becomes a sphere and not only that it becomes a, a it's not a solid sphere, mostly liquid, hot gas sphere. And <clears throat> but in that there is also dust, there is also elements, there are also gases. Many many things are present there. And uh, <clears throat> so, but when it accretes a lot of material, the the temperature of that start rising because if we come, make like suppose we take a a plastic bottle and fill it with partly water and then uh, close it by a lid and then suppose we, we press the bottle then the air that which is there above the bottle that gets compressed and the, 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 the temperature of that compressed gas is more than the temperature when it was expanded. So because of the compression, more particle coming together, more particle coming together, the, <coughs> the temperature <coughs> of this temperature keeps rising. And there is a, in, in the initial stages, when the temperature is not very large, it starts emitting infrared radiation. Because the radiation depends on the temperature of the body. Like our work also emits infrared. Right? So, like moon, the temperature is such that it emits microwave. It doesn't, and it all it reflect the light that we see from the moon is reflected light, but it its own uh, emission is in microwave. Right? So based on the temperature of the earth, you must have studied that black body radiation in your course. So that is that the black body radiation depends on the temperature of the body. So initially, <coughs> infrared emission starts, and this process keep on uh, going, accretion, more and more accretion, more and more compactization. So because of that, the, the temperature of that in, in, in body keeps increasing, and once the temperature of the in because in, in, the, the, in the accreted material, also there will be a density gradient. The outer part will have low density. As you go deeper inside, the density will keep on increasing, increasing. And then, because of this accretion, if the temperature of the core rises to a temperature of something like 10 to the power 6 degree Kelvin, a very huge temperature, then the, 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 because most of these clouds, they are hydrogen clouds. Hydrogen is the most abundant gas in the universe today. <laughs>